Remember, remember the 5th of November, the gunpowder treason and plot. For I can find no reason why the gunpowder treason should ever be forgot. Before I get into the message, I must remind all of you that this channel can be struck down at any moment for any violation YouTube dreams up against their community guidelines, which are enforced very arbitrarily. In the description, you will find the link to the BitChute channel. You will find the same videos over there that are here at YouTube, along with others that I can't upload over here for one reason or another. So if you enjoy this content, please bookmark the BitChute channel, subscribe to it. Currently only 10% of my subscribers here at YouTube are subscribed over at BitChute. Now let's get into the message I have for you on this auspicious day. Good evening, America. Allow me first to apologize for this interruption. I do, like many of you, appreciate the comforts of everyday routine, the security of the familiar, the tranquility of repetition. I enjoy them as much as anyone, but in the spirit of commemoration, thereby those important events of the past, usually associated with someone's death or the end of some awful bloody struggle, a nice celebration of a holiday. I thought we could mark this November the 5th, a day that is sadly no longer remembered, by taking some time out of our daily lives to sit down and have a little chat. There are, of course, those who do not want us to speak. I suspect even now direct messages are being sent out, and those who have appointed themselves as protectors from free speech will soon strike. Why? Because while the nightstick may be used in place of conversation, words will always retain their power. Words offer the means to meaning. And for those who will listen, the enunciation of truth. And the truth is, there is something terribly wrong with this country, isn't there? Cruelty and social justice intolerance and censorship, and where once you had the freedom to object, to think and to speak as you saw fit, you now have social media censors and systems of surveillance coercing your conformity and soliciting your submission. How did this happen? Who's to blame? Well, certainly there are those who are more responsible than others, and they will be held accountable. But again, truth be told, if you're looking for the guilty, you need only look into the mirror. I know why you did it. I know you were afraid. Who wouldn't be? War, terror, disease, racism. There were a myriad of problems which conspired to corrupt your reason and rob you of your common sense. Fear has gotten the best of you, and in your panic, you turn to government and put your control of your life and well-being in the hands of an all-powerful president. In fear or out of rage, you elected Joe Biden. He promised you order. He promised you peace. And all he demanded in return was your silent, obedient consent. This last week, some chose to stand up and no longer be silent. On Tuesday, citizens voted to remind this country what is being lost and outright taken from us all. More than 246 years ago, patriots stood up and said no to a monarch's troops. They said they would not give up any more of their God-given rights. They stood as an example for future generations. Life, liberty, 
the pursuit of happiness, are more than mere words. They are God-given freedoms. So if you've seen nothing, if the crimes of this government remain unknown to you, or you agree with its overreach, then I would suggest you allow this 5th of November to pass unmarked and unremembered. But if you see what I see, if you feel what I feel, and if you would seek as I seek, then I ask you to stand beside me and say, no, I will not comply. No, I will not let freedom become but a long distant memory for future generations. Then take your stand. Show civil disobedience to all unconstitutional mandates and edicts. They only have power if you let them make this year one to remember for the ages, where on the next 5th of November, we can say we stood for freedom, liberty, and our God-given rights. Long live liberty.